What's going on everyone, Insanoflix here. For this week's Scarlet Mod Showcase, I have several mods to show you, but if you're interested in just a particular mod, check the video description for the time link to skip to that part of the video. First up is Destructible Bottles, and this is a great realism mod that'll make bottles break into shards and pieces when you destroy them. I think it's a pretty awesome mod, but other than just bottles breaking, there's not really much more to say. There's a sound effect when you break them, but anyways, when the with the mod, when you break bottles like these wine bottles for instance, the debris of broken glass will stay there until you pick it up, or it'll, it'll be removed automatically depending on your cell respawn rate. Overall, it's a pretty sweet immersion mod that's usually in most other games where you break a bottle or something like that, and then it breaks into shards or just cracks. Now I've featured a lot of armor mods lately, so here's a really great weapon pack mod. The mod is called Hobbit Lord of the Rings Weapon Pack, and it adds four new weapons to the game, the Orkhurst. This is a cool curved sword which also has its own scabbard. Umraz, an axe, Philly's hunting knife, and the Witch King's dagger. And the latter two also have their own scabbard too, which is like a modified dagger scabbard. And that's just if you're wondering. All the models are highly detailed, look realistic and authentic, and it would be a great addition to have them in your armory, especially if you're a fan of the Lord of the Rings weapons. Now, all these weapons can be crafted at the forge underneath the steel menu and deal roughly the same amount of damage as Daedric equivalents. Next, I have two mods that adds world maps to the Forgotten Vale and the Soulcarn, two fairly large zones added by Dawnguard that did not have their own world map, and included with this mod are Fast Travel Markers 2, which is pretty awesome. And like I said, you can only pick up two mods, and the mod names are Enable Soulcarn Map and Enable Forgotten Vale Map, and I have both of them in the video description. Now for those looking for some Halloween mods, since it's really close to Halloween, check out Pumpkin Spice. This mod adds two helms that you can craft that looks like a pumpkin, great for the Halloween spirit. But other than that, it's just a fun cosmetic mod for Halloween. The helms do give quite a bit of armor and they're classified as light armor. And there's two versions, there's a regular pumpkin spice helm, and then that's orange with glowy orange eyes, then the poison one, which is kind of like a sickly green yellow helm. Another cool Halloween mod is Halloween in Solitude. Lots of pumpkins, and just as the mod name implies, it adds lots of pumpkins to Solitude. It's a great atmospheric mod for Halloween, and maybe after that it's kind of like an autumn harvest celebration sort of thing. Anyways, that's it for this Skyrim Mod Showcase video. Thanks for watching. Support the mods you like by endorsing them, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Skyrim Mod videos like this one. Now, I know that this video was pretty quick, but I am working on a couple of other videos, and I just wanted to give a shout out to a couple of good mods, especially the Halloween ones. Anyways, see ya.